Hello, and welcome to your first advanced Fancade scripting tutorial. In this advanced series, we're going to talk about more advanced topics in Fancade scripting. And um, if you haven't watched the, uh, the beginner series yet, I'd recommend you go check that out uh, before you uh, watch this series, because uh, we're going to talk about more advanced stuff in here. So if you ha if you don't know the basics yet, you should uh you should watch my advanced sorry my beginner series. Um, so in this video, we're gonna talk about lists. So what are lists? Well, a list is it's essentially a variable that can store more than one value, a variable that can store multiple values. That's pretty much what a list is. So I'll show you how to create lists in just a moment, but for now we're gonna open up the inventory, go inside variables, and in here you have your traditional get and set variable, right? Um, but we haven't talked about these two before, uh, set number, list number. So what are these used for? Well, they're used for getting and setting lists. So let's cr actually create a list now. We're going to need a number and also inspect number. And um, <clears throat> let's see here. So this block right here, list number, this is used to read from a list. Um, so for example, uh, if we have a variable, let's call it list, lust, <laughs> no, not lust, list. So the first input here, variable, is the list you want to read from. So you just make a variable and call it whatever you want. I just call it list in this instance and plug it in. And that this uh, is now the list that you will read from. Now this next input index is the position. Uh, is It's basically the position of like the position of the item you want to read from, the position in the list you want to read from. So for example, if you plug in the value one, you will be reading from the first position in the list called list. So this will read from the first position. Um, so if we try to inspect this, uh, you'll see that it just returns zero, and that's because we haven't uh, we haven't saved any value to this list yet. So how do we do that? Well, uh, let's start by copying this right here. So to save a uh, a value to a list, you use this block right here. Uh, it's called set number, and um, this might be a bit confusing, but basically what you have to do is you have to plug this in here. And then whatever you plug in here will now save that value to this list at the first position. So for example, if I plug in the value 50, it will then take the value 50 and save it to this list at the first position. Okay, so now if we hit play, you'll see that it returns 50. Okay, now this in itself is not really that useful. I mean, I, I might as well just make a variable called list and save the value 50 to it. But lists can have multiple values. And that's why you have to specify a position because uh, that allows you to specify which value in the list you want to reference. So for example, if I made, if I duplicated this, and then I changed this value to two and saved a different va uh, value here, uh, like 14, for example. So now we've saved both the, <coughs> the value 50 and the value 14 in the same variable, pretty much. But they, just ha they were just saved in different positions. So the value 50 is stored at the first position in the list, and the value 14 is saved at the second position in the list. So if we hit play now, you'll see it still outputs 50. It's still, uh, when it inspects this, it still outputs 50. But let's duplicate this and change this to two. And as you can see, 
it will output both the numbers in the list. So like, so what are ways of thinking of lists? So a good way to think of lists is to think of them as like regular lists, like real life lists, like a shopping list, right? So in this case, 50, the value 50 would be the top of your shopping list. I don't know. Um, that's not really a, a good way of saying it, I guess, anyways, um, because you wouldn't purchase the number 50. But, but just imagine that it's a shopping list. The first value is 50. So we save that at the first index. Now, the second index, this means we're at the second uh value in the list right so so the second item in the list and we save the value 14 so you can save pretty much as many uh values as you want in this list well that is tech that is technically not true i think uh, the limit is uh something like it's more than 1 billion <laughs> Um, so you can have more than 1 billion, uh, uh, you can have one more than 1 billion items in the same list. Uh, so there is, there is a limit, but it's so large that, I mean, there's no way that you will want to have a list that has more than 1 billion items. So yeah, um, that's pretty much lists, right? So you can have even more values in here. You can make a fourth value, give them different value. You can even make them negative as well. All kinds of stuff. So yeah, let's just copy this, just demonstrate. Yeah, so uh, that's pretty much lists for you. And of course, uh, not only can you save numbers inside lists, you can also save objects, vectors, rotations, even truths and constraints. We haven't actually talked about constraints yet, but that is also coming up in another video. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much how lists work. I don't really have anything else to, uh, to say. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you learned something and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial.